Okay, explorers, it is finally time to paint our princess of polka dots, polka dots. So the first thing I did is I am studying um, what the polka dots on this pumpkin look like. I'm not going to make mine exactly the same, but I do like certain patterns that I'm seeing here. I'll also show you a few other uh, examples of her polka dotted pumpkins right now. Okay, so I really like how Kusama does the big polka dots down the center of the convex part or the protruding part of the rib and then does smaller polka dots, um, as we can see here, smaller polka dots on the side. So I've started doing that on mine. And the utensil that I'm actually using is a Q-tip. So what I'm doing is getting um, a bunch of paint. By the way, I've chosen the color white. You can choose whichever color you'd like, of course. So for my bigger polka dots, I'm taking my Q-tip and I am uh, making big dots with it. Sorry, it's a little hard to hold the camera at the same time. Give me one sec, I'll get a better angle. Okay, there we go. So I'm taking my Q-tip and I'm making big circles with it to make my big dots right down the middle of the convex portion of my paper mache pumpkin here. Might smooth some of those out a little bit with a second coat, but I'm trying my best. Okay, so I've got my big dots there. And then I'm taking a second Q-tip. I'm just lightly dabbing it in the white paint. I don't need too much. And then I'm just taking that Q-tip and doing tiny dots closer together alongside the big dots. So that's the pattern that I'm in sequence that I'm following for this. And I'm very interested to see what pattern of polka dots you are going to come up with and what color polka dots you're going to use on yours. So go ahead, I'll show you what my final version looks like in just a moment, but go ahead and um, pick your color and study some of the pictures, look at the patterns, and I absolutely cannot wait to see what your final pumpkins look like after this last step. Bye.